Do you like batiks? Do you like batiks a lot? Then let's have a batik bonanza. Keep watching. Hi, it's Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. Today we're going to have a batik bonanza. We have lots of batiks to show you, some gorgeous quilts as examples of how we would use the fabric, and we think you're going to love them. So we're going to have lap quilts that we're showing you today. Every lap quilt is made with one of my patterns from either one of my books or one of my individual patterns. The books are awesome. You're going to love them. They have eight different patterns. They also have sizes for a lap, a twin, and a king-queen. You just multiply the number of kits that you're going to use. For a lap quilt, you need one quilt, one kit to make everything that you see on the front of the quilt. If you want to make a twin, you need two kits. And if you want a king queen, you need four kits. And the really nice thing is if you buy at least three kits, you are going to get one of our books free. You just write it in the comment section of your order when you order. The first one we're going to talk about today is the jigsaw pattern. This is such a fun pattern to make. It is using our standard three one-yard cuts. You have a focus fabric, you have a light, and a dark. Now, we don't have this fabric available, but we do have some really pretty fabric that we want to show you for this one. It would be quite stunning. Okay, this one is gorgeous. It has these wonderful fall colors. I love these earthy colors. This would go in your number one spot. This is going to be your number two spot. It goes right here. And then your number three, rather than a solid color, we've got, oh, this is just gorgeous. It looks like the nebulae or something. I oh, love it. So this one is going to be a stunning quilt. And the kit number is 8021359. And it's called Sparks. And it's the jigsaw pattern. If you want to take a one free pattern with every kit, or you can skip that pattern by three quilts kits and you will be able to get the book Modern Views, which has the jigsaw pattern in there. Now remember, every one of our quilts can be made with three one-yard cuts of fabric. That means that any pattern and any three-yard quilt bundle will work together. This one is called Corner Play. This has been such a super popular pattern for us. It has a modern twist to it. Your light fabric or your number two fabric really does cause this design to pop. Let's put that one up there and we will show you the batiks that we've picked out for this. I think corner play looks especially good in um, the batiks. Now this one is just fun and I love blues and greens so if you're anything like me you're going to like this one a lot. This is our number one or our focus fabric. We normally pick the most dominant um, pattern to put in our number one position. Then we take that out of the equation, compare these two, get our number two and three. So the number one is here, number two is in this section, and the number three is in this section. Now anytime that you're working with one of my patterns, you'll see a, uh, everything is set up that way. It has the fabrics one, two, and three, and then it has uh, the cutting instructions that way too. So the pattern we're using is corner play. This kit is called 802, no, kit number is 8021360 Lime Aid Slushy, and it's corner play from the book Pretty Darn Quick. Now the next one that we're going to do is Diamond Dust. Diamond Dust is a fun one. It's made with a half rectangle. And there are special instructions for that. And we do have a YouTube on uh, the magic of the, the half rectangle. So you'll need to look that one up in our play, playlist. Um, it's really super to, and easy to make. Just a little different because it's not a half square. It's a half rectangle. So let's put that up here on the table. And I'll show you the fabrics that we picked for this pattern. Now this one is, really does rely on that lighter color. So whenever you're working with your uh, fabrics, it's important to get that number two light uh, contrast. 
The number one fabric we've chosen for this is this uh, teal and purple. I think that would be look, that'll look so good. That's going to be in this block, and it's also going to be in the border. Now, your number two is the lighter color or your purple. It'll go here, and that offsets the um, background. Well, it's just the other half of the uh, half rectangle will be this purple. So it really causes it to pop. This is so important that you put that um, lighter color in the background. Okay, here we have 8021361. Indigo Dreams is the name of this kit. Diamond Dust is your pattern. It is available as an individual pattern or in the book, Modern Views. Okay, the next one is called Candy Stripe. This one's fun. It's made with half rectangle. I mean, a half square, <laughs> not a half rectangle. It's made with half square triangles. And here's your block right here. And just by the way that you stack and turn them, it creates this cute, almost like a barber pole is what I thought or peppermint candy stripe here and then we put a nice bold border on that <clears throat> excuse me okay so this one is called crystal cove and i love this i love this print here now we're going to use this print in the number one position here we're going to do your light fabric in your number two position and then we have our number three is going to be out here on the outside edge. Now, because you can use any one of our uh, fabrics in any one of the positions, as long as you will cut everything I tell you to cut out of each position. So you could just as easily switch your places. This could go out here on the border. And this one could be your number two, and your number one. So you could do it this way as well. Either way works beautifully with this particular quilt. But it's a fun thing to do sometimes to just play around with those fabrics. So here we have 8021362 Crystal Cove. Candy Stripe is your pattern. That is only available in the individual pattern. It's not in any one of my books. Okay, the next one is Pinwheel Party. Now, we've had a lot of fun with this one. It's a great way to use your batiks. And we have this center block that's bordered. And then we made a center block of a pinwheel. We call this one Pinwheel Party. So we'll put that one up on the table. And look at these yummy colors that we have. Kind of, kind of a sherbet colors. You've got orange and pink and green all together. That's great. This one's going to be the center of the block and your borders. I do like using uh, colorful borders. Then your number two fabric, because you compare these two, you take your light one. It's going to be here. It will also be part of the pinwheel. And the third one is your darkest color. It will be your border and the center of your pinwheel. Let's take a look at the quilt kit number. We have 8021363 Pastel Renewal. It is the Pinwheel Party, and that's from the book Quick as a Wink. Now, that does not come in an individual pattern, so we are making an alternate pattern suggestion of the pattern called Pinwheel Quilt. So this one would be really cute made up that way as well. All right, the next one is uh, Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver is from one of my newer books, and I really like the way this one looks. And it looks like maybe it might be hard, but it really isn't. So um, it's done in vertical rows, and it is also done with some strip piecing. So you'll be surprised at how much easier it is to put this together than what you might think by looking at it. My favorite thing in the world to do is design a pattern that makes it look like you worked really hard, but you didn't. So um, this one is called Dreamweaver, and we've got some new fabrics we want to show you for this one. Now, this is another quilt kit that's very important that you have that high contrast with your number two fabric. So we've picked our number one fabric. This is going to go where this light blue dot is, or this medium blue. And then we've got a real light blue that goes in your number two spot and a dark blue for your number three spot. So these need to have contrast, 
But this is very important, that your light is very high contrasting. All right, with this one, it is 8021364. Unwind. Dreamweaver is the name of the pattern. It's only available in the book, Quick as a Wink. An alternate pattern would be hopscotch, which is another kind of a woven look that I created. And it would also look really great in this particular design. All right, the next one is attraction. I love attraction. It is just a fun, fun quilt. And I used three solid colors here. We don't have this fabric any longer, but we have um, picked out some great batiks that we think will work well with this one. So let's look at this. Now in this one, the number um, two fabric is going to be used all the way through. If you'll notice your blocks, let me show you the blocks here. So you've got a block that uses all three colors. So see how that's using all three colors. And the green is the number two fabric in here. And it is the constant. So if we went there and then we went over here and looked at this one, you would see that the constant is the green. We changed out these colors and these colors. So it's a super way to make exactly the same block but changing out your colors uh, in the uh, different positions. So here you just follow the pattern. You're going to have your fabric number one which is your aqua. Your fabric number two is your light purple and like I said this is going to be in every one of the places, uh, every one of the blocks. And then the fabric number three will be where the purple is. So you've got your high contrast, but it really does work well with this particular uh, design. 8021365, Midnight Magic. Attraction is the pattern. It comes as an individual. It also comes in the book, Easy Peasy Three Yard Quilts. The next one is Pretty Please. Now, Pretty Please is another individual pattern that's never been in a book. It's a super simple pattern to put together, and it shows really nicely with a little bit of a focus block and then the smaller block outlined. So let's put that up here. We don't have that fabric for you. What we have is some gorgeous batiks that would look so cool in this particular uh, pattern. Focus fabric is going to be your largest design in this case. It's going to go in your focus block here, the number one position. Then you compare these two and you'll have the light for the outline of this and the dark for the inside of the block and your border. So this one's going to be really pretty with those purples and blues. Windswept is the name of the kit, 8021366. Pretty Please is the pattern, only available as an individual. But remember, any pattern I write is done for three one-yard cuts of fabric. So if you buy that kit and want a book, you buy three kits, you get a book free, any one of my patterns will work with any one of the kits that you purchase. Next, we've got some last chances for you. There's just a few of these remaining, but we wanted to make sure you got to see them. This is a gorgeous kind of a brick red. I really like that. And that would be your number one. Your number two will be your high contrast. And the number three, another brick red, but a different uh, pattern going on with that. So this one, we're recommending that you do the quilt pattern cartwheel quilt. And the name of that is called... Tahitian Sunset, 8021367. Cartwheels is your pattern. There are only two of these remaining. You would be able to do a um, twin with, one, with two of the kits. Okay, the next last chance. Oh, there's only one of these very popular fabrics. This one has your number one fabric with these uh, taupey colors. I like that with the the little bit of the terracotta with that. That's gorgeous. And then this one is your number two. Again, you've got your high contrast with your number three batik. These will be so fun, but it's only one. There's only one. One lucky person's going to win this one. 
We are recommending the Puzzle Me This pattern. It's from the book Quick and Easy Three Yard Quilts, and that is a download only book. All right. And then the last one we have, there's only one of these remaining. This is that great sunflower uh, fabric, and it has this great limey green going all the way through that sunflower fabric. And then we picked up those purpley reds. Well, let me put this down there. The purpley reds love this one too. There's only one remaining on this one, and it is, we are recommending the Sweet Times pattern. It's from the book Easy Peasy. It's a last chance. There's only one left. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show. We love batiks. We love being able to show you some new um, fabrics to place. Those are all brand new fabrics, just about, except for the last chance. So remember, you can get one book free with three kit purchase, or you can take one individual pattern. We have 10 different books. Three are download only. Seven are um, available in print. If you just want to do some stash busting, remember you get eight patterns for just $15.99 and all of the books that are in print also give you your different sizes, the um, lap, twin, or king, queen. So it's Donna Robertson with Fabric Cafe. We hope you will just click on that subscribe button and then on the bell so that you can get notifications every time we put up a new video. Have a great day. Thank you.